Hey, how's it going YouTube? Um, today I wanted to make a video showing you guys how to set up an internal lab network on Hyper-V using Hyper-V. Um, if you haven't already watched my video on how to en enable Hyper-V on your Windows 8 computer, um, you can definitely go and watch that video. It's, it's, it's super helpful. Hyper-V is basically a virtual machine uh, t uh, software that enables you to make virtual machines and manage them and uh, it's already included in Windows 8 Professional so if you have Windows 8 Professional definitely make sure to go and enable it so it's it's just a it's a really awesome ad additional feature you should have and this is pretty much it this is what Hyper-V Manager is but uh, for today what I wanted to show you guys is how to actually set up an internal lab network so you can test stuff and set up a whole um, uh, theoretical lab environment um, on your computer just using virtual machines so in a for for example in a real test lab environment for instance maybe in a school classroom you have a lab environment so you can set up a network and just play around but it's internal to just that lab itself um, the entire school environment is safe and it's it, it's not going to be affected by this lab environment whatever you do in this lab stays in this lab so that's what I wanted to do here you want to set up an internal lab network just within these VMs so that your actual internet and all your other computers in your house you know nothing um, these VMs are on its own network it's a separate lab network um, and I did a bit of research I was looking around on YouTube I couldn't really find a a clear video that really shows people how to set up an actual uh, internal network, a proper internal network, uh, a good step-by-step -step video. So I decided to do one myself. So um, pretty much what you have to do is uh, once you, you open up Hyper-V Manager, um, like go to start, Hyper-V, so there's Hyper-V Manager. You get by default you won't have Hyper-V Manager on your Windows 8 unless you enable enable it like how I showed you guys in the video so like I said um, please make sure to watch that video if you guys don't have this already and um, once you enable it what you have to do is you go to virtual switch manager over here go virtual switch manager click that and then over here now there are going to be uh, there's going to be uh, these options here. By default, there's going to be no, no nothing set set up here. What I did, I already set up one that's called internal internal lab network. Um, pretty much all you have to do is um, click internal. There's three options. You have external. External means that um, your virtual machine this this switch that you're making it's a virtual switch. So this this switch is going to be connected to your external internet like your ISP internet so if you use external you will have um, internet access on your VMs but internal network means that you're just going to be having a closed environment just um, there's nothing connected to the outside world it's just within you have your switch and then your VMs are connected to that switch that's it so um, what we want to do is you click internal and uh, in, also what internal means is your VMs can communicate with your host machine like your actual computer like the Windows your VMs can communicate with that a private network what that means is that um, you're making a network only within your VMs not even your host machine can communicate with these VMs and that's that's totally private but uh, for the purpose of this video we want to just do internal set up internal and then you hit create switch and then it'll ask you what name you want to give it to the switch so like test lab network you can add some notes here if you want and then <clears throat> and then here uh, you wanna make sure internal network is selected you, can like, you have internal network and then just hit apply And then uh, it's just going to apply the changes, and you hit OK. And now um, you will also you will have like that network is set up. 
Uh, but you're not done. What you have to do is now after what you, when you set, make your VMs, when you have these are three VMs I have right now. When you have these VMs, what you want to do is you want to right click them, go to settings, and then in the settings you have an option that says network adapter. Um, if you don't have this, you just have to go add hardware, add network adapter. So for instance, if I add a, a network adapter right now, I have a network adapter. You have to tell the network adapter which connection to uh, which switch to connect to. For me, I have two switches that I made, like the way I made test lab network right now. I also made internal lab network before. So you want to specify exactly which um, which lab network you want or uh, which uh, switch to connect to. So for instance, if I want them to connect to this new network I just made, test lab network, hit apply. And then uh, now the virtual machine is going to be set up so that it'll be within this lab network. Um, and then you just go ahead, make all your virtual machines, connect all of them to your virtual lab network. And um, after that, they'll be within that network. Now, like for me, when I'm testing Windows Server, on my Windows Server, I have um, Active Directory set up. I have DHCP server. I have a DNS server. Um, so when you're making those servers, um, this is maybe I'll make a video in the future on how to do this. But for those people who are just wondering, like when you're making these, uh, uh, when you're making that server, I had a bit of trouble uh, making that communicate. This server, the DHCP server, communicate with all the other uh, VMs, like these VMs I had on my network. There's a bit of a trick. What you need to do is you have to go to your network sharing center. You just right click here, then you can go to um, open network and sharing center. Then go to change adapter settings. And then once you're here, you'll see that there is, you have your normal uh, connection. You'll probably have one called Ethernet, maybe Wi Fi if you have Wi Fi on your computer. There's going to be one called V Ethernet. These are the connections that we made using Hyper-V. These are the virtual switch switches that we made using Hyper-V. So as you can see, there's that one called internal lab network that I had. And then there's that one called test lab network that I had. So um, for, uh, let me just remove this for now. I'll just use my uh, internal lab network and show you guys what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, so now I only have this internal lab network. So this is the virtual network I had made, virtual switch I had made. Now that you have your, for instance, if you do have your Windows Server um, Active Directory DHCP DNS set up on as one of your virtual machines, and um, now you want it to propagate that DHCP to all the other virtual machines what you need to do is you need to define on your server you need to define a default gateway um, and then what that default gateway is going to be referring to is actually this internal lab virtual switch so you have to go to the virtual switch I'm sorry if this is kind of confusing those people who are not really sure what this means but um, this is very important if you want to actually set up an internal network um, for the purpose of testing servers and stuff like that. If you're not testing servers and you're just going to test vir virtual machines, no problem. You can make your virtual machine, uh, make an external switch, and then then you can just play around. That that VM will have internet and everything. So um, you go to properties. <coughs> Sorry. And so once again, what I did was I right click the virtual the internal lab network the virtual switch connection go to properties then you scroll down to uh, the internal protocol version 4 TCP IP uh, IPv4 click, double click this and then it'll open up as uh, this this window will open up it's these fields are actually going to be empty but I had configured these uh, fields so the way I have it set up right now is um, like before you guys do this you guys should kinda generally have an idea of what IP you want to be using as your um, 
as your network IP. So for me, my network IP is going to be 192.168.10.0. Um, so when you have that as your network IP, the first IP on your network sh should uh, uh, generally it will be your default gateway or normally your router. Um, but uh, the first IP here is going to be this actual virtual switch that we have. That's why I right clicked it, went to properties, and I came here and I came to this window. So you want to set, set whatever your network IP is going to be, even if it's going to be 192.168.100.0. Um, then the first IP is going to be 100.1. So you want to make this whatever that IP is going to be. You could even make it 10, 10, 10, 1. Right, so this is going to be your default gateway IP. The subnet mask automatically it'll um, like so. Here, let me let me delete this whole thing. And if I just type in one and then click here, automatically the subnet IP will come in here. And then the default gateway here, you don't have to enter anything. Um, because this is the default gateway. This this switch itself is the default gateway, and um, so you don't have to enter anything here. And then the DNS server is just something that because I have my Windows server running, um, my Windows server on it, um, the IP of this server is 192.168.10.2, so that's going to be my DS DNS server. So I entered that here, and then I hit OK. Um, so yeah, it's very important that. Um, if you're trying to set up your internal network to have DHCP and DNS uh, running through a Windows server, you need to come over here to your v virtual switch and configure it, and configure it as the default gateway. Once you configure it as your default gateway, then on your actual server, you go ahead and you enter those uh, the value of your default gateway in your server itself so um, after you after you do that then um, then everything's gonna be fine uh, all the all the other virtual machines that you make just add them to your internal the virtual switch you made the same way I showed you guys you just right click you go to settings then you go to network adapter and then you just select the virtual switch that you want everybody to be on and then um, then everybody's going to be in that network it's going to be a closed uh, environment um, another thing also is when you do have your virtual machines and you set it to um, be in an internal lab network none of these virtual machines are actually going to have internet they're never they're not going to be able to access the internet if you want them to be in the internal network and ex access the uh, internet you wanna what you will have to do is you wanna make an additional switch you make an external switch and then um, you specify exactly what what your um, your actual network card is gonna your actual computer network card so for me it's this um, and then you hit apply um, it's gonna make some changes on the network so um, once you do that you um, then you'll have an external network uh, virtual switch also and then you just right click go to settings and uh, add an additional network adapter for me like for instance if you have you have one network adapter you'll have to add a second one then specify that the, the external network card as well so one virtual machine is going to have two network cards one for internal network one for external network and then they'll have internet and it'll be on the network as well internal network as well so yeah, that's pretty much the. Those are the steps involved. I know it may be a little bit confusing when I was explaining it, but I hope this kind of helped you guys out and gave you a general idea of how to set up your internal network. Uh, to recap, it's generally it's quite simple. All you have to do is make an internal virtual switch, the way I showed you guys at the beginning of the video an internal virtual switch and then after that on the actual virtual machines you go to the settings and you set the network adapter to be on your internal switch that you made 
and then after that all of these virtual machines are going to be on your internal switch or internal virtual switch which makes it an internal network the important thing to keep in mind again is that when all of these virtual machines are connected to your virtual switch that virtual switch is going to be that's going to be your default gateway on your network so whenever on your virtual machine when you go to the IP settings um, like on your virtual machine when you go to this window whenever it asks for default gateway enter the IP of your virtual switch uh, and then everything will work fine um, by default your virtual switch won't have any values static values defined to it so you actually have to come here and specify exactly what you want it to be so by default it'll look, look like this nothing will be here so you want to actually come here and set the values to what you want and then uh, everything will work accordingly so um, if you guys are still unsure everything if it's kinda confusing you guys please don't hesitate to leave a comment or send me a message or, or send me a tweet no problem I'll be happy to reply to you guys um, I hope this video did help you guys out um, thank you guys for watching uh, please stay tuned I'm gonna be making more videos right now I'm just testing with the servers and clients here but I'm gonna be making videos on how to set up a virtual uh, Windows Server um, Active Directory DNS DHCP server in the future so stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching I hope this video helped you guys out and please don't forget to subscribe um, like and share this video with others thanks guys and take care